Welcome back to expertvillage.com. If you hear this, don't you really want me to play this? If I just left it here, your your sense of of rightness in the world, your sense of where God stands in all of the world would be thrown into battle until you hear. And this is by design. For years, for centuries, Western music has followed the aesthetic pattern that when you get to this chord, you want this chord to follow it. And it's, it's simply the way that we have been trained, the way that, that Western music has grown up. So your job as a teacher is to teach your children your adults, your students, how to do it. Um, that is called a dominant chord. This chord that doesn't sound like it's finished, the chord that sounds like it wants to go someplace, is called a dominant chord. The chord that is finished is called the tonic chord. So um, a place to start when teaching this is to just teach the sound. Have them listen to and call it something. What are they going to call it? They're going to call it dominant. And they're going to call this tonic. See if you can do that in different keys, uh, here in the key of G, here in the key of F, here in the key of, I don't know, B flat, how about? Anywhere you go, see if they can hear it and call it by its name. Call it a dominant, call it a tonic chord. And you can um, use those words, they probably won't have much meaning to a, to a first grader, but you can say dominant as in, I'm going to dominate you, it's the most strongest. Please do not say most strongest. It's the, it's the largest chord. It's the most exciting chord. It's going to dominate. Um, tonic, you can say it has, sounds like tone. Tone is where the tone that we're going back to. Um, again, you're just using language to help them understand.